In 1963, in Pasadena, California, Pie and Burger opened its doors. Since then, it's been slinging delicious pies to all the beautiful patrons of Southern California. Today, I will taste every pie at Pie and Burger. It's high time for some pies. Thanks to Google Lens for sponsoring today's video. Hello. Hi, hi, hi. There I just we hung go. Up on them. <laughs> <laughs> The whole vibe of this place just feels like a very small town pie or burger shop, and I love it. My name is Michael Osborne. The restaurant is Pie and Burger here in Pasadena. So Pie and Burger opened in 1963. Recipes go back about 70, 75 years, all made from scratch. I started working here in 1972 as a cook, managed to work my way up to dishwasher, and then eventually owner. That's amazing, and that's typically how it goes. Cook, dishwasher, owner. Dishwasher, and that was an owner, you're probably still <laughs> yeah. washing dishes yes, every I so am. often. Yes, yeah. I, I, I do, I do. Now I know you're thinking, Keith, I wish you could eat at every single restaurant in the world so I know what to order. Well, I can't do that. That's unreasonable. But if I haven't eaten at a restaurant near you that you want to try, you can use Google Lens by using the Google Lens app on your Android or go to the App Store and just get the Google app. You simply open up your Google app, click this little lens button right here. You'll notice that all of your stuff, it just suddenly becomes text. And it even sorts out the specialty or the favorite items here at this restaurant. At this one, it is the peanut butter meringue pie, and you can read all these reviews from people underneath as all of this stuff is sourced using Google Maps. You can even hit the search button to learn the difference between a Dutch apple pie and an apple pie. That is amazing. It's pie time. Let's do this. We're going to start with the apple pie. As American as apple pie. That's the phrase. I do love apple pie. It is my mother's favorite pie. We always used to have an apple pie, and we kept it in the microwave like the microwave was a cabinet. It was there at all times. So if you wanted to microwave something, you had to remove the pie and then put something in it and then put the pie back. That's where the pie lives. I think it was because we had cats. Mmm, <laughs> goes so well with the buttery saltiness of the shell. It's not just like sugar. It's very flavorful. Mmm, it's super good. I always forget at the beginning of these videos that I'm gonna eat so much but it's so delicious. <laughs> now for a Netherlands twist on the old American favorite, Dutch apple pie. I don't know if the Dutch actually do this. Why don't the Dutch people live in Dutch? They live in the Netherlands, but they're not Nevermans. <laughs> they should be Nevermans. Uh, Dutch apple pie is great. It's got this little crumbly top. Wow, that tastes totally different than the other apple pie. It's a little bit sweeter. The graham cracker crust is doing a lot to affect the taste, even though this filling is exactly the same as the other pie. I don't know, it feels a little more densely sweet from that graham cracker. Graham cracker, not graham cracker. Don't, don't laugh. Don't laugh, I'm gonna say. No, stop laughing. Please stop laughing. Graham cracker. What have I done? This is a nightmare. I'll have some crust. Anybody who throws away their crust on pie or pizza, shame on you. How dare you do that? This is the best part. Next pie, cherry pie. Look how cherry -y it looks, and it talks. Hello, <laughs> what's it got to say? It looks like it's gonna be like super duper sweet, but it's actually got some good tartness going on. It's not too like sugar, sugar, sugar. Cherry pie is so like salacious in pop culture, you know? You know what I'm talking about. Next slice, please. Custard pie. I've never had custard pie. I've had pumpkin pie, which is a custard pie, but I've never had just custard, custard pie. I'm going in hard. It kind of looks, oh yeah, let's all put our hands on the table. <laughs> it kind of looks like a cheesecake, right? I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't that. Creamy, sweet, eggy. You know what? It's not my favorite. I'm sure there's a bunch of custard fans right now who are going wild in the comments. I just, I don't get it. Next pie. Mince pie. I'm very interested in this. It sounds crazy, but what is a mince pie? All I can say is like the old style fruit log in a pie. For me personally, it's not on my top five list, okay? Trust me. 
Oh wow, it smells like raisins. <laughs> oh no. Whoa. <laughs> I like the end taste, but the beginning tastes like just every old fruit and spice. I think this is a pie that like somebody's grandma would make me and I'd be like, mm hmm thank you. Thank you so much. Please welcome to the counter, my friend and yours, Jared Popkin. Yes. Hey. Very excited for this. Jared, what do you like about pies? I actually didn't realize how much I loved pies until you entered my life, Keith. Really? Yeah, I don't know if he's already mentioned this, but I realized how much you love pies when you had it at your wedding. I do love pies. I love them so much, I had pies at my wedding instead of cake. Fantastic day, Great for day. multiple reasons, mainly the pies. Got pie. some fuzz on your oh. head, we got it. And that's why I'm here. Yep. <laughs> to be cleaned. Okay, this is this is the most popular pie as we learned from our Google Lens moment. The peanut butter meringue pie. It looks absolutely bonkers. I love peanut butter. Ugh. All right, we're getting a little bit of pie fatigue. I love that the way the meringue just flops over. Yeah, I wasn't it. anticipating it's all so that. It's so fragile. I think it's supposed to be though. I think that's a sign of good meringue. I think, I, I think so too, because I hate it when it's all stiff and chewy and this is all light and delicate. You gotta work for it. This is incredible. Yeah, this is in, this is my favorite no one. No wonder this is the famous. Yep. Like, this is a hit. This is so good. Home run, sir. This is excellent pie. What if you had a slice of this and a slice of the banana pie? And then you just made yourself a peanut butter banana could pie Could you mix sandwich. and match here? Yeah, you could order one slice of each. You can do whatever you want. I give it a really good. This is baran, baran, <laughs> banana pie. Banana meringue pie. Look at the size of this meringue. It, look it looks like a marshmallow. So it's egg whites that have been whipped and baked. Okay, here we go. Oh, hell yeah. Yes. When I was a child, I used to mash up bananas, pour a little bit of milk, pour some sugar and cinnamon, and just stir it up and eat it. This is what you do for babies, I think, but I did this until I was 12. When I was an adult, I would cut up bananas and put them in peanut butter sandwiches. I do them longwise too. Instead of doing the, all the little discs, I hold it and I slice it like a hot dog down the middle. And then I slice it in half and then I've got four long halves. I can put them on the sandwich way faster and they're less likely to fall off the sandwich. I've wasted so many <laughs> minutes cutting bananas. Life yeah. hacks. Yeah. Next pie. Ooh. Oh, coconut pie. <laughs> you are taking you pie. have to. Oh my god. Mmm. This pie is coconuts. I do love the shaved coconut. It's got very mac macaroon vibe. Not a macaron. Macaroon. They're different. I don't have an answer. Yeah. I just love this pie. Mm hmm Next pie! <laughs> no, you gotta- I don't wanna throw it. You gotta give it a- Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I was terrified of throwing it off the counter. So many forks. <laughs> Chocolate pie. Wow. I'm not confused anymore. Wow, look at it. Wow. That looks very thick. It does look thick. I don't know if I would order this pie. So I'm excited to see if I'm gonna like it. I would absolutely never order this pie. It's just not in my repertoire of pie choices, but this is why I do this show. I love it. I don't. I love it. Too chocolatey. It's not as filling as it looks. It's very thick, it, look, but it, it's very light. You're very right about that. Yeah, yeah. It's like the difference between cream cheese and whipped cream cheese. You are very right about that. Buy me, baby. Woo, next <laughs> pie. Hell yes. This is what meringue was invented for. Lemon meringue pie. The tartness of the lemon is just so explosively delicious. There was a long time in my life where I thought meringue pie was only lemon. Mm. Mm -hmm. Whoa, mm -hmm. that is a shot to the mouth. Especially after <laughs> chocolate. Oh my God. <laughs> it's just a flip. I actually really like it. Mm -hmm. Give it to me. All right, lemon, see you oh. later. See ya, I baby. You, that lemon was not a lemon. All right, this butterscotch pie apparently is the more 
difficult pie. Well, why don't we cut to that interview and you can learn all about it. Well, of all the cream pies, to me it's the most unique because the other ones all share sort of a common base to work with. But the butterscotch has two kinds of milk in it. Obviously you have to caramelize the brown sugar. So the process involved in it is a little bit more I say painstaking than the other creams, which are based on sort of a plain vanilla based cream. Smell it. Oh, ah. it smells good. I just want to point out, look at the texture on that. Yeah, look, look at, at it. Look at the mountain. It's like an Egyptian pyramid. Look know. at it, look at it. And Egypt, they had some of the best pyramids. And some of the, probably the best pie at the time. I oh imagine. my gosh, Egyptians. Who <laughs> <laughs> certainly didn't have pie. <laughs> <laughs> Not a chance. If you think they could have, <laughs> leave me a link in the comments. <laughs> wow, look at that. Massive. <laughs> it was too big a bite. Yeah. You do not need to mix and match this one. Wow. That is sweet. Whoa. Oh, God, I need coffee. I need milk, I coffee. Need coffee. <laughs> well, Jared, this has been a pleasure. What was your favorite of the of the? Oh, several? the peanut butter, one hundred percent. Peanut butter. Well, yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. All right. <laughs> Bye, Jared. Bye, guys. <laughs> wow, what a treat Jared Popkin was. But an even sweeter treat in my life is our next guest. She's my wife. Please welcome Becky Hammersberger. Becky, welcome. Hello, thanks for having me. Oh, pardon me. Sorry, Becky. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry, I, it was just, it was unfortunate timing. <laughs> There's always like a demon inside of you. I think it's trying to come out when it does that, yeah. Uh, Becky, you love pie. I love pie. Pie is delicious. Pie is perfect. We are pie people. Something that we actually love even more than your casual sweet or dessert pie mm -hmm. is chicken pot. Wow. wow, look at this. The best part about it is that typically it's always made over a bowl and they just have this pie crust and you just lift it up mm. and look at, oh yeah, shredded chicken. Wow. Look at that. It is so homey. Oh, it makes me want to cry. It is so delicious. Ooh, it's hotter on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Could you pass me a napkin? I need yeah. to blow my <laughs> nose. <laughs> What's new? Well, <laughs> my nose is always running. Keith's nose is always running so much that he keeps a toilet paper roll in the car so that people think he poops on the side right, Nobody of the thinks I'm <laughs> pooping in the car. It's just that, you know, the parking stick, it's like perfect for holding a roll of toilet paper. <laughs> and then I can, as I'm driving, I can safely pull a few out, rip them off, blow my nose, and throw it on the floor to pee, you know, clean up later. <laughs> to pee. To pee on. To pee on later. You said he had no. No, I just had I'm misspeaking. Did everyone hear it? I keep misspeaking in this episode. Earlier I said graham crapper. Graham crapper. I haven't lived that one down. That's embarrassing. It was. I didn't mean to. It was a graham cracker crust. Oh, very good pot pie. Chicken pot pie just makes you think about, you know, staying in an old wooden cabin and it's winter time and your grandma pulls out some chicken pot pies and everybody sits under a blanket and pulls up those old foldable TV trays and you sit on the couch and eat your little pot pie and you watch old reruns of Law and Order. You know. Yeah, everyone has those memories. Yeah. Next pie, seasonal strawberry pie with homemade whipped cream. Doesn't this just look like the 4th of July right here? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow, it smells Smelly so strawberry-y. Strawberry, strawberry pie, to me, feels wrong because it just, I mean, look, they're just strawberries. Mmm, <laughs> it does have this nice little sugary glaze. Did you ever have strawberries? Well, I know you didn't, but strawberries with sugar on them. This is the thing Becky did. This is the thing! Becky's family Thank just you. put sugar <laughs> on things that were already sweet. No. You would take a strawberry. You don't put sugar on a strawberry. That's stupid. You take the strawberry and you dip it in the sugar oh, bowl. Right. And then you eat it. Here. Because it's not sweet enough. No. Bye pie. Bye pie. <laughs> Whoa. This pie looks wild. Seasonal blackberry pie. I mean, it looks appetizing to me. I know that Becky doesn't want to eat this <laughs> at all because Becky doesn't like soft things. I'll eat the blackberry. Let me try this part. Wow. The blackberries are good. Mm-hmm. Awesome. The blackberries are super fresh. It's a little too sweet for me overall, but I get it. Next pie. Pecan pie. She's holding that almost 90 degrees and it didn't slide at all. Oh my god. <laughs> no, Becky, no, you're, you're risky. No, no, no. Wow, it didn't that was. Move at all. Wow. <laughs> Becky loves pecan pie. That's my 
favorite pie in the world. She calls it pecan pie, pecan I call pie. it pecan pie. This is the same pie we had on our wedding day. Oh, oh. So cute. You want me to feed it to you? Yeah. Oh, I've been taking tiny bites. This one will take a big bite. Stop. I, I blew it away. It's so I, I burp a lot. It's not my fault. Oh my God. We, I, I ate so much dairy and eggs You're already. Raised in a barn. <laughs> what I love about pecan pie is it's an incredible dessert and it's also totally appropriate for breakfast. Like, it's great with coffee, it's great with some whipped cream, it's great by itself, it's great cold, it's great hot. It's probably one of the most versatile pies ever. I mean, it is super unhealthy because it's a lot of sugar, but it's got nuts. No, it is. And nuts are good for you. These are healthy fats. <laughs> <laughs> well, Becky, you can take the rest of this with you and it's time for you to depart. Are mm. we saying good pie? Yes, until next time. <laughs> good pie, Becky. Good pie, Good pie, pie Becky. What a treat it was having Becky Haber's burger with us, huh? How did we get her? It is time to bring on the most famous comedy band in all of Los Angeles, my friends and yours, Lou Burger! What? Huh? Our solitary mission in this Pasadena tradition is the... <laughs> we got well, welcome to the show, boy. <laughs> the whole video is in shambles. This video is sponsored. What's Google uh, gonna think? Oh no! Get out of the frame. We gotta do it again. Right. Why do I always get yelled at? I can't there. do this. I'm already getting DMs from dozens of single You're women. You're not even I in the show yet. You can't, you can't talk I until can't. you've been introduced. I can't do this. Uh, get back on me, Miles. <laughs> going on over there? <laughs> well, guys, it sure was great to have Becky, wasn't it? But now it's time to welcome the greatest comedy band in all of Los Angeles to the counter, my friends and yours, Lou Burger! Our solitary mission in this Pasadena tradition is our perfect combination of dessert and entree. Oh, wow. Our menu's not a mystery. It's sliced delicious history. We insist you eat your food in the following way. Pie and burger, pie and burger. Eating in the order we assert. Pie and burger. What's for dinner and the burger's dessert? I don't know if the restaurant authorized this jingle, but I'm in support of it. Well, welcome to the show. What a confusing way to enter. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> hey, it's time Stop for- Stop screaming. I can't help Stop it. Stop screaming. It's Just talk. I have resting scream voice. You don't. It's time for America's favorite segment. Alex brought a bunch of cookies to the all-you-can-eat menu, eating the menu time. Today I knew we were doing a bunch of pies. It's a very seasonal time, so I brought your favorite pumpkin bread. Mm, I do like pumpkin bread. It looks like you've eaten half of it. Well, what happened was my mom, I baked it in my parents' kitchen because they have a much bigger kitchen, and my mom was going to Mahjong and insisted on taking half of it to her Mahjong. I ate some of it as well in the car on the way over. All right, well, let's try it. All right. Here you go. Thank you. Yeah, it's good. All right. <laughs> yeah, I used less flour this time because it's more moist if you use a little less flour. Mm -hmm, not bad. All right, um, <laughs> we're gonna have some pie now. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, this is a single slice of pie. A single slice mm -hmm. of pie. How have you been since the last Eat the Menu, Alex? I mean, as you might have expected, uh, I've received dozens of messages from eligible women, and uh, I, I appreciate it. I would like to once again reiterate, I'm not looking for a girlfriend on the internet. Blueberry pie. <laughs> I haven't had blueberry pie in a really long time, but this is like the pie for pie eating competitions at fairs and carnivals. Grab yourselves a bite, boys. Sort of reminds me of uh, Stand By Me, the American classic film, if I may. There's, really? Yeah, there's a big blueberry scene in that. I'm not sure if it's pie related. I never liked blueberries as a kid, but I love blueberry pop tarts, and this tastes like an excellent blueberry pop tart. Can you get that tambourine off the table? What if I need to use it again? No, but I have this thing where I sling the plates across the table and it would run, woo, there we go. Rhubarb pie. 
Huey Stonefish's favorite pie. It kind of is like if celery and strawberry got it on yes. and created a new plant. Rhubarb That's cheers. disgusting. Cheers. Just try it. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It's incredibly tart. It's like yes. almost sour. It's so tart. Yes. It just lightens your voice right up. But it also turns you into like Ooh. a dandy woman from the 20s. <laughs> why, why, yes, Alex. <laughs> might I say you're looking quite fine. Please don't contact me online. <laughs> Unless you're a dandy oh, woman. From the 20s. One, two, three. Whee! Oh, there was a plate there. <laughs> well, that wasn't on me. No, that... no, it should have been moved by Nick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're having a good time. Boys and Barry, mm. and right now I feel like we're a few boys and Barry. <laughs> oh. There's a crunch that I was not expecting. Mm. Mm. This is not a Lewis favorite. Oh, this is a oh, stone yeah. fish I'm not favorite. gonna blame pie and burger. I think it's the boys and berries. It's like a, like a blueberry pie all grown up. I would love a cocktail like mm. this. It reminds me of the expensive cherry in an old fashioned. Mm. Right. Wow, these boys and berries are good, oh, but God. it's time to try a little bit of a baked peach. Oh God, and oh, there's ice cream. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> He was really on top of it that time because you made fun of him. I didn't even get to slap it. I didn't even slap it. My thing. Peach pie a la mode. Truth is, almost every single pie we've had today could have had a scoop of ice cream on it. I think peach pie is an excellent a la mode pie because peaches have a lot of sweetness and they're fairly complex. A really good blend of spices in a peach pie and I think it'll go really well with some vanilla ice cream. Mm. Come on now. It's like we're just a bunch of debutantes headed to the ball. I'm getting so full of pie. Now if you like this witty banter, be sure to check out our tour. And be sure to go to Aya to Thumbtack no. to no. send Alex a message and tell him how handsome you think he is. Hey, now we're talking. Is this pumpkin pie? Pumpkin pie. Mm-hmm. This is my favorite oh my pie. God. It's so soft on the sides. It looks like cheesecake. It's got so much flavor. It's got so much love. It's got so much zestiness. It's so pumpkin-y. And also sometimes it's used with a squash that's not pumpkin at all. <laughs> Some other gore. You spat all I'm over sorry. my hand. That was disgusting. You made me laugh. Oh yeah, let's do a thumbnail. Oh, oh my god! <sighs> yeah, baby. <laughs> I like pumpkin pie. I remember the first time I had pumpkin pie. I was at the Opryland Hotel in Nashville, Tennessee. It was my Thanksgiving, and I went over and I tried some pumpkin pie, and I was like, wow, this is delicious. And before that, I thought it wasn't gonna be delicious because it was pumpkin, and pumpkins have spooky faces on them, and I didn't think you could eat a spooky-faced object. But turns out, you can. What a great way to conquer your fear. Oh yeah, I could use a little whipped cream, but mm -hmm. that's delicious. Mm -hmm. I find this pie gorgeous. Oh, that old gem. So we are actually going to be paying for everything ourselves. Mm -hmm. So you guys had about five slices of pie, so, you know. So I guess you should throw me some bones. Well, and well. don't even worry about it because with Google Lens, we can actually take a picture of the receipt, calculate the tip, and then divide it between ourselves to see exactly how much you owe. So you don't even have to worry about the math. It's very cool. It just like scans the thing and it like does the math. You pick what you want and it's like, here's how much your tip will be. That's great because when uh, right now we're touring, we always have to like split the bill on That's things. That's true. And uh, I'm like the worst at calculating tips. He's stupid. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Except very handsome though. Don't he's so wait. handsome. No. He's very Lovely. handsome and he's very courteous. Well boys, thanks for dropping by. Thanks for the song. I thought it was beautiful. And uh, why don't you guys sing the chorus as you leave? Pie burger. There it is. Pie burger. Eat it and the order we assert. Bum, 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 bum. Pie burger. Pie burger. The burger is for dinner and the pie is dessert. They nailed it every time. And now it's time for me to choose the best and the least best. The least best pie today, the custard pie was just too weird. It had an eggness to it that I just didn't quite jive with, you know? And I've decided the mince pie is just so confusing. You know what, I'm not gonna say it's the least best because it was so unique. It was so bizarre. Part of me liked it, but a lot of me didn't. The best pie, however, gosh, you know, that apple pie really was 
perfect. I'll always have a special place in my heart for apple pie, and I'll always be losing a special place in my heart to chicken pot pie, <laughs> because it will slowly fill me up with so much cholesterol that it will have a permanent place in my heart. So many of the other pies were so fantastic. The pecan, the rhubarb, the favorite, peanut butter meringue. So many amazing flavors. I truly am blessed to spend my entire day just eating pie. Thanks to Google Lens for sponsoring this video. And Google Lens can do even more than help you know what you want on the menu. You could point it at a plant, and it'll tell you what kind of plant it is. You can point it at a bottle of ketchup, and it'll tell you what ketchup is. It, it, it basically is Google search, but through photos. But instead of a Google image search, you're actually using the camera on your phone to look around your world and learn more about it. It works on Android phones and iPhones and of course Google phones. It's super dope. Check it out yourself. And in the comments below, let me know what you would use the Google Lens app for, huh? Until next time, I'm Keith Aversberger and this has been Eat the Menu. Thanks to Pie and Burger, thanks to Google Lens, thanks to all my friends and thanks to me. See y'all later, bye. Oh no, I said graham crapper. Oh, it sounds like an old person pooping. <laughs> Nobody wants to think of that when they're eating pie. What have I done?